Now, sticking with Dr. Carson and his uh, mechanism that he uses to reach people, and that's Facebook. Um, you know, there's, social media is like any other. It has many aspects, facets. Much of Twitter, for example, is a sewer. But there's some entertaining, legit stuff that goes on. And the same thing with Facebook. And it is is clear that Ben Carson uh, is using Facebook as a, as a tool to actually directly reach people. And at the end of every day, he sits down at his computer and takes questions. People can submit questions all day long to his Facebook account. And he chooses some to respond to every night, sometimes late at night. And... Everybody's curious again. Why all of a sudden has has Carson begun to move past Trump? Not just in Iowa, but in a couple of national polls, Carson's moving up. I think Carson, to a lot of people, is much more of a surprise than Trump ever was. When when Carson announced, I don't think there was anybody who thought that he had a. I mean, any kind of a serious chance at all. And they were not putting him down. Nobody was dismissive. They were just, I mean, they hadn't been around long. He's a, on the public consciousness, really, since that prayer breakfast moment where he took it to Obama on Obamacare. And it was a big launch, but still, it was, I think, considered by a lot of people to be a long shot. And that's why there's so many people that are a combination of shocked and surprised and curious as to how he's done it. Now, one of the... Here's his latest Facebook post last night. He says, Tonight, going through all your questions, I wanted to touch on a few issues that seem to be asked by many people. I want to deal with one question tonight in some detail, and the issue is experience. Several people ask what they should tell their friends when people say, I like Carson, but he has no political experience. Well, Carson writes, you're absolutely right. I have no political experience. But on the other hand, the current members of Congress have a combined 8,700 years of political experience. Are we sure political experience is what we need? Every signer of the Declaration of Independence had no elected office experience. What they had was a deep belief that freedom is a gift from God. They had a determination to rise up against a tyrannical king. They were willing to risk all they had, even their lives, to be free. Today we find ourselves with an entire class of politicians. No one in Philadelphia during that summer our nation was born dreamed that service was a career with a pension. America was the land of the citizen statesmen. They were merchants, lawyers, farmers, and yes, even doctors. They were willing to stand for freedom. Today, the political class stands in the way, not stands for people. They demand pensions, they demand perks, but this is not what our founders envisioned. I spent my life treating very ill children over 15,000 times. I gave my all to prolong their lives. I was blessed to do it, but when it came time for me to retire, I simply couldn't sit back any longer. These children became my family. What our government is doing to them is outrageous. I'm prepared to risk all that I have to try and make a difference in their future. I built one of the nation's best medical centers. I served for two decades on the boards of Costco and Kellogg. I built a national scholarship program. My experience is very different than what we've come to expect. I grew up poor. I know what it's like to be homeless and hungry. I know the pain of poverty. I also know that education and a mother's love can be the path out of dire poverty. I know what it's like to see water fountains you're not allowed to drink out of because of your skin color. I also know that once you peel back the skin, the brain's the same no matter what your skin color or continent you live on. I know that victimhood's a trap. I know that it is our Christian responsibility to offer those less fortunate a hand up. I know my faith is strong and my ego is small. I know that my path to the White House is different than most. But I also know that I bring all of the pain and joy, the success and failure, the lessons learned through love and sorrow in my life's journey. Bill Clinton was famous for saying, I feel your pain. Well, I've walked in your shoes. 
I don't have political experience. I have a life journey, a journey that not only made it possible for me to relate to so many different people, but also one where time and time again I was told I would fail only to succeed. My candidacy is different, that I grant you. I have neither Donald Trump's money nor Jeb Bush's political network. However, I wouldn't trade a single child I've treated for all of Trump's money. And while I admire the Bush family's dedication to service, I too served nights, weekends, holidays, birthdays, anniversaries with severely injured patients. That were my public service. I didn't go to embassy cocktail parties or big lobbyists for money. I spent night after night in a quiet, sterile room trying to save the life of a small child. That was my life's service. That is my life's experience. What I have is a lifetime of caring, integrity, and honesty. I have experienced the American dream. Nowhere in the world other than America could a man whose ancestors were slaves rise to become a leading brain surgeon and one day seek the office of president. The very fact that I'm running is testament to the greatness of America. If all you want is political experience, then I can't be your candidate. So that's how Dr. Carson's dealing with it. It's perfectly sensible. In addition to being inspiring, and Hillary Clinton couldn't write, couldn't write very much of it herself. Hillary Clinton doesn't have anywhere near, neither does Bill Clinton. All they've got is a lifetime of saying they care and using other people's money ostensibly, to grow the government, to provide relief or help or assistance, but what can they actually say they've laid their hands on and repaired and fixed? The left has succeeded profoundly convincing people they care, and the rest of us don't. So here you have somebody like Ben Carson with his life and his resume, and they're trying to destroy him.